Friends of Prince Harry are reported to be considering countering some of the bombshell claims made in his new memoir with their own, and several of his once loyal pals have called some of his claims bollocks. One former friend allegedly warned, loyalty works both ways. According to Michael News' source, there are tapes of Harry high as a kite making vile, racist comments. Harry's friends could bury him with their own stories about him, and it's time for these stories to surface. A source told Markle News on Instagram that there are tapes of Harry high as a kite making disgusting comments. The source said, I used to work in the entertainment media. Basically, I just did updates. This celeb is getting married, divorced, or been cast in a new movie, etc. And while I no longer work in that field, I do have colleagues who on occasion tell me gossip. I was told years ago that there are tapes of Harry high as a kite making vile racist comments. In one video, he's saying the N-word, and in another, he's speaking about hooking up with girls and commented about not being attracted to women with dark skin. He was only attracted to black women who had light skin, looked Hispanic or Italian, etc. Basically like Megan. They needed to be white passing. The source continues, The videos were apparently made by a former friend of Harry. My former colleague claims that royal family and the wealthy aristocrat families of the guys in the video have paid millions to make sure these tapes never see the light of day. I spoke to my former colleague earlier today, and she's convinced the royal family will continue to protect him and make sure the tapes don't leak. She said they won't want the headlines questioning Charles's parenting, claiming the rest of the family, including Charles and William, must also be racist. Not to mention the headlines about the royal family paying to keep the videos a secret. I have a feeling Harry feels almost untouchable because he knows if his secrets leak, it will also make Charles look bad for cleaning up his mess. He knows they'll continue to protect him. Prince Harry has revealed that in the decade-long wake of his mother's death, he turned to drinking heavily and sampled a series of mind-altering hard drugs during an interview with Anderson Cooper. Cooper questioned Harry about his admitted substance abuse, including booze, cocaine, pot and more. Harry said he did it in response to his mother's death. It was obvious to us as kids the British press is part in our mother's misery, and I had a lot of anger inside me that luckily I never expressed to anyone, he said. But I did resort to drinking heavily, because I wanted to numb the feeling or I wanted to distract myself, and I would, you know, resort to drugs as well. He also said that he felt that using psychedelics like ayahuasca and psilocybin mushrooms helped him. I would never recommend people to do this recreationally, but doing it with the right people if you're suffering from a huge amount of loss, grief or trauma, then these things have a way of working as a medicine for me. They cleared the windshield, the windshield of misery and loss, 